What's on my agenda today? Kay Dunn is meeting you here this morning. Mm -hmm. And you have to go to the University Law Library to research precedents for Mumford versus Mulligan. It has to be today. I know you hate going. Hate it? For your information, Miss Samora, many of my happiest hours have been spent in the hallowed silence of that library. Great. Here. What's this? A map to help you find it. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. How great the sign's going up. So is my blood pressure, darling. <laughs> I hate to interrupt while you're being horny. <laughs> I would like to get the sign hanging before Kay arrives. Oh, what's she coming here for? On business, Megan. Really? <laughs> what do you think? If there was anything going on, you think I'd tell you? <laughs> uh, I guess not. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Lutz. I was helping Mr. Tanaka clean out the kitchen, but that's just manual labor. Whenever you call, I know I'm going to have something that challenges me intellectually. So, uh, what have you got? I need you to help Pop and me hang this sign. Great. <laughs> okay, Pop, you're in charge. All right, all right. Now, buddy, you just get over to the end, right. and Dwayne, uh, you're right here, and both of you get ready to, uh, lift. Yeah, now we're going to switch around. Well, wait, Dwayne, you going down that way? And, uh, buddy, you uh, go out the door first, right? Yeah. Pop, Pop, are you in on this job or not? Yep, I'm eyeballing it. I can get a little help down here. Okay, okay. Eisenhower and Lutz, hold on. Dwayne, it's Mr. Tanaka. He wants you back on the double. Oh, well, tell him I'll be right there. You tell him. He's making those samurai sounds again. Uh, bye, everybody. Uh, uh! Welcome to the law offices of Eisenhower and Lutz. Hey there, baby, don't I know you were to my James Dean. A Palm Springs rebel, handsome devil, chasing a big time dream. You were always running with the wind at your back, looking for a big red Cadillac and a beautiful Almighty, my gut feels like I took a belly flop on a bear trap. <laughs> I think you know everyone. Millie? Good morning. Megan? Hi. Same here. I mean, well, hello. I, uh, I'd shake hands righty, but I just ruptured myself. <laughs> Listen, Pop, I think you should go see Doc Mueller. Oh, buddy, you know I don't trust medics. They, uh, they knife happy. Not Mueller. He handles all my personal injury cases. He's not allowed to do surgery unless I recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, you want to run Pop over to Doc Mueller's office? Um, I'm sorry. I wish I could, but uh, today's my day to open the Tonga Tiki for lunch. Okay. I love eating lunch in a room full of disease. Oh. Come on, big bud. Oh, I don't know. I don't like women drivers. I don't trust them. Well, uh, I'd let you drive. But it's a little difficult to shift with your hand in your pants. <laughs> anyway, this, um, this client of mine, a gardener, is applying for amnesty, and he gave me a list of his former employers who might provide affidavits, and I'll be damned if your name wasn't on it. I wonder if you remember Octavio Morales. Absolutely. Great. I canned him. <laughs> he overwatered my hillside until it turned to mud and slid onto the patio. For months, my guests were ankle deep in slime. Come on, Kay, what's a little patio compared to a man's life? 
If Octavio doesn't get amnesty, we'll be throwing him back in the middle of a war zone. Bombings. Terror in the streets. He's from Acapulco. <laughs> yeah, but the bad section. <laughs> Come on, Kay, be a sport. Okay. I'll sign an affidavit saying that he worked for me. Good. Start. Now, let's add a little flesh to those bones. Say a few words about his skill. His way with all things green. Okay, I'll dress it up a little. When do you need it? No rush. Anytime today. <laughs> the hearing's at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Maybe I could have called you sooner. <laughs> what for? I'm already doing you a favor I don't want to do. It's only fitting that you don't give me enough time. Okay, I've got a hell of a day, but call me and remind me, and I'll try to find the time. I'll find it, Kay. Otherwise, you're sentencing this man to a life, life in... in a tropical beach resort. I couldn't live with myself. <laughs> Mr. Lutz? How's Mr. Lutz? We don't know yet, Dwayne, but don't you worry about my pop. He's a bear. Well, I know he got hurt when I dropped a sign. It's my fault. If I hadn't run out of Dwayne, like Dwayne, I know. Wait. You gotta let go of that guilt. He had no way of knowing that the old guy was a chronic type H. Type H? Prone to hernia. <laughs> I just wish I could be with him in the doctor's office, but darn it the heck, I gotta get to the law library and research precedents. Mr. Lutz, uh, maybe if you weren't so emotionally overwrought, you'd be seeing something kind of obvious. What's that, Wayne? <laughs> I can go to the library. You? <laughs> Please, it's the least I can do. Aw, oh, Dwayne, you big-hearted goon. Go. Hunt me up some precedent. I will. All right. <laughs> Millie, this is important. Call Kay Dunn's office and remind her about the... Where's my dad? I dropped him at the hospital. What, for tests? Well, Mueller called in a surgeon, and he concurred it's an acute hernia. They're operating in the morning. Mueller picked a surgeon without ever consulting me? This is my father. I want to know who this quack is. His name is Dr. Ernest Alvarez. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. D don't worry. He Mueller says he's very good. Good? He's too good. It's a little hernia operation, and Mueller... Mueller gets me the most expensive surgeon at Palm Springs. Oh, my lord. <laughs> hey, buddy. Where'd you disappear to all this time? Oh, was I over long? I was whooping it up down in the admissions office, signing my life away to pay for this because you never in your life thought to get insurance. Well, if it's going to put you in such a hissy fit, let us get me some. <laughs> I got a lot of work. I really should get back. Oh, I thought you'd uh, maybe stay around and visit for a while. Well, I... how, how long did you figure? Till uh, you'd reassured yourself that I lived. <laughs> You mean until after the surgery? Oh, let's not start milking this pot. There's a reason you've never heard the phrase death by hernia. What if I don't come out of the antiseptic? <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, big bud. How you feeling? Any better? Oh, nothing. Uh, a bit of honey from your sweet lips wouldn't cure, darling. That's a kiss on the forehead. That's how you kiss a little kid. If there's one thing I ain't, it's a little kid. Excuse me, I gotta go potty. You're worried, aren't you? You bet I'm worried. The old buzzer wants me to spend the night. Because he's scared, buddy. But I, I, I can't stay here. I got that immigration interview in the morning. I gotta get back to the office and pick up all the paperwork. I just... <laughs> well, I guess everything's here. Except Kay's affidavit will leave. I hope she didn't forget. I certainly did not forget. Good. You forgot to remind me. <laughs> well, forgive me, Kay. I'm uh, a little bit beside myself. My dad's having surgery, and, well, despite our differences, he's been, well... Like a father to you? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> but I'm sorry, but my secretary went home at 5, and I don't type. If I try to do it, it'll take me most of the night. Is this your idea of American justice? 
My client has to suffer because your secretary waltzed home early? It was closing time. Well, maybe that's how you do things in the cushy big corporations. Maybe we little guys are just a smidge hungrier. My secretary is still in the office. Uh, buddy. I'm on the phone here. <laughs> Suppose I send my secretary to your office to do this for you. Would that help? If she wouldn't mind. Certainly not. It would be my secretary's pleasure. Nay, her honor to do the job. <laughs> ah, she'll be right there. Buddy? What? Millie went home early. Did you give any thought to mentioning that sooner? You said you were on the phone. That's when I needed to know, when I was on the phone. I know, but she wouldn't listen. Okay. Okay, Millie is out. Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne's at the law library. <laughs> What? Who, me? Oh, buddy, please don't ask me. You know how I get when I'm around that woman. My, my tongue sticks to my teeth. I stutter, and I, I know when she looks at me, all she sees is this pea brain and a sarong. Could you please ask someone else? Sure. Maybe one of the scrub nurses has time between operations. I can't go like this with my belly button showing. Well, then stick a cotton ball in it. <laughs> listen, honey, honey, listen, the thing is, Kay doesn't type. You do. You see how the pieces start to fit? I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. That's my girl. <laughs> I tell you, Ed, it's some strange bathroom. Seems like no matter what you're in there for, they got something for you to hold on to. <laughs> Where's Megan? I sent her over to Kay's office to do some typing for me. I got something important scheduled for tomorrow morning. And I don't? Oh, <laughs> uh, listen, buddy, listen here. We got to talk. We got to talk. Just, just in case I don't uh, make it. Pop, you aren't gonna die. Hey, I was like you once. I thought my folks would be around forever. But I learned my lesson when my mama died. I was just nine. And there's something that I'd been meaning to tell her for months. But instead of saying it, I just kept putting it off, putting it off. Till all of a sudden, that dear woman was gone. And to this day, I wish I'd told her just once where I'd hid her teeth. <laughs> had to go to meet her maker looking like Andy Gump. <laughs> and the, the, the thing is, Big Bud, it's not like we don't talk. Oh, chit-chat, chit-chat, just chit-chat. Not, not about nothing deep. Not what's inside, down in the gut. So I just, I just think it's time that we let go of the stuff that we've been holding back. Okay, Pop. Let's. Just a moment. Who is it? Mrs. Dine, I'm here for Bud. Uh, I'm Mr. Lutz. You are supposed to be here an hour ago. R really? I came the instant I heard. <laughs> You, he sent you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no, I mean, there's no reason why but Mr. Lutz shouldn't have sent you. <laughs> you type? Well, of course. My high school counselor used to say that a woman who couldn't type could never make anything of herself. Oh, I wish I'd heard that. I could have been sitting here at this desk instead of rattling around in that big office with my name on the front of the building. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm bugged at Bud, Mr. Bud, Mr. Lutz, and I'm just taking it out on you. Let's just get this thing done, okay? There's a, a typewriter under there. Phew. 
hot in here. There's typing paper in that drawer. It's locked. <laughs> Naturally. Let me just see what's in my office. Now, would you look at this? They're supposed to be so efficient around here, but they got my middle initial wrong. Lutz, Barnett, O. That's your blood type, Pop. <laughs> oh. Barnett. That's a fancy name for the likes of you and me, isn't it? Where'd you ever get such a name like that, Pop? Well, now, that's a good story. I'm glad you asked me that. Uh, it seems that uh, my big sister, that'd be your Aunt Midge, you never knew her, cranky woman. <laughs> but before I was born, she had a pair of hamsters, and one day one of them croaked. Her heart attack or crud or whatever them critters die from. You gonna tell me about my name, Pop? I'm coming to it. Well, you see, when, uh, when that hamster bought it, Midge, she was disconsolable, moping around the house. So, cheer her up, the folks promised her that she could name something else after it. <laughs> so, two weeks later, I was born, so naturally. No. <laughs> that animal's name was Barnett? Our second generation named after a hamster? <laughs> The way I see it, we're lucky that the uh, right hamster died. She called the other one Furburger. The stationery's so pretty. Oh, I love the way it smells. It's Giorgio. Really? I wore that once. It came in a magazine. It... <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes. Regarding Octavio Morales. Hey, it's typed pretty fast. <laughs> God, I, I had some practice last month. I was hoping to go work for Bud, but, well, I, I, I don't think he wanted me around all the time. You know how he is, afraid of commitments. <laughs> ah, yes. Well, <clears throat> let's see. I have known him since 1981. No, wait a minute. You went out with him in high school. No, no, no. Morales. <laughs> yeah. Since 1981, when he worked for me as a gardener. Was he afraid with you, too? Oh, yeah. Every time I went to the yard, it sort of... Oh, wait, you mean Bud. <laughs> afraid of what? Afraid of commitments. Well, he was young then. I was young. I was just a naive, hick kid from Palm Springs. And New York. <laughs> and Samaritz and Portofino. <laughs> I'm sure he loved you. He said that? Not in so many words, but... See, nobody has a hard time saying the word love to anyone. Oh? <laughs> well, he says people say it too easily, so it doesn't mean anything. So he, he kind of, you know, he compensates by never saying it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Back then, did he always uh, you know, stick his tongue out of the, the corner of his mouth when he was really concentrating hard on something like... Yes, yes. <laughs> it's like when he's unfastening your bra. <laughs> Does he still do that that little cough when he's self-conscious about something? Oh, yeah, like if you even mention his nose, he goes... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Why does he hate his nose? Oh, he says it makes his face look like a hatchet. <laughs> but it's a 
wonderful nose. It's a, it's a Roman nose. Yeah. Oh, those lips. <laughs> Are those the most incredibly sensuous lips in all of Palm Springs? Uh. Where did we uh, leave off? Mr. M M Morales was a hard worker. Diligent, industrious, a fine moral character. <laughs> What time is it? 8.15. I asked him to let you sleep. You look like you could use it. Where's Pa? In surgery. Oh. Brought the affidavit. Mm. How did everything go with Kay last night? Any problems? No, I was just in and out, like you said. Well. This ought to get Octavio his work permit. I mean, the smell alone. It's the only paper Kay had, but it's a regular affidavit. Yeah, yeah, this is a textbook example. Mr. Morales is a hard worker. Mm -hmm. He's diligent, industrious, and has the most incredibly sensuous lips in Palm Springs. <laughs> Excuse me. Mr. Lutz, can we come in? Yeah, Dwayne. <laughs> Millie? This isn't what it looks like. I often stop by the hospital before going to work to see what's new in the gift shop. And as long as I was here, he's still in surgery. Still in surgery? Words that are like a knife in my heart. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate everybody's concern, but it isn't necessary. It's a dinky little operation. Look, he's my father, and am I worried? Excuse me, I am Dr. Alvarez. I operated on Mr. Lutz. Is his son here? I need to oh, have God, a few he's words not, with he, him. He, uh, he didn't, uh... Your father's going to be fine, son. Friday, the NCAA Basketball Championship continues on CBS Sports with live primetime coverage of the regional semifinals. Doubleheader action begins at 8 p.m. Eastern. Now stay tuned for a dramatic coup attempt as an island nation is threatened. Can Vinny smash the ultimate covert plot? Ken Wall stars in Wise Guy. Next.